Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, these celebrities think that you could just, that, like, STDs is not prone to them, like, because they got money. That's how they work, though. You got you got the money for the right thing. You get cured, bro. Yeah, like Magic Johnson, nigga. Man, he, that shit ain't help easy, nigga. <laughs> he might ain't, he might ain't, he ain't know the people to get the cure. Who knows, man? But... E- easy cut here is too late. That's what that was. I was going to say, easy was full blown. But I'm saying, like, he got it and then died, like, a week later. Like, how the fuck does that He was that full work? blown by the time. He's he been had it, man. Out. He just he yeah. been had it. He was full blown when he when they died. In those, he been he had it for a couple of years by the time he yeah, died. He was, yeah, he was full blown by the time he found out. So it was too late at that point. AIDS don't HIV and shit don't be having you all half dead the whole time. It ain't like that. Magic not full blown with it. No, no, no. Magic, Magic ain't got it. Magic ain't got it no more. Magic ain't got it. It don't come up in his blood. It don't come up in his blood test no more. Un- it, well, anybody can get untraceable. That. No, I'm. Because Magic didn't have never gave it to his wife. He'd still be fucking his wife. Magic shit is un Magic should have been untraceable since 98, 99. I remember learning, I remember when he first when he first his shit went untraceable in 98. I remember and learning about that shit in school. That shit don't come up in his blood since 98. So that tells you they had the cure for that shit since 98. Uh, because yeah, and he lied to, and he was talking about how to and it went away. Yeah. He caught a lot of facts saying like he prayed to God and God held him in care. Yeah, he said I prayed. The man was like, "No, nah, nigga, you got money for the cure. Like, don't put that <laughs> shit on God. Tell niggas what the cure is or what medicine you taking." And he caught a lot of flack for that shit in the nineties. I remember that shit. Like, no, nah, his shit don't come up in his blood. Now, if you take the medicine, anybody can. They got a cure for it because now you can take that fucking shit where you can't catch it. It's like a vaccine. What's that? That prep shit. So. They always had to care for that shit. Now they're just making that shit wildly available for other motherfuckers to get it. Because there's more money in the medicine. But they've been had to care for that shit, though. Yeah, they, Magic they, White they don't know how they... Gay people. I forgot what they call that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I've seen that commercial. Yeah. yeah, you can take the pill once a month now. And it's, it's like a vaccine, though. Like, it's, what it do is, it's kind of them like putting a virus in you. And then your body make make antibody. So when, if you do catch it, it can't attach to yourself. Even now, if you say if you fucking a bitch and you pop the condom, if you go to the emergency room within seventy two hours, they can give you some medicine, a shot that 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 help you stop from getting it if you've been exposed to it. So they've been had to care to all that shit, all, like twenty thirty years ago. They just making that shit readily available now because they can make money off of it. They don't think they, they use it to kill all black people, but once you had like a lot of white people catching the shit too, they put the you know the cure out. <laughs> Well, no, nah, I think that's what happened with Coke. All the white motherfuckers was using Coke at first, and they was getting strung out on that shit. And black motherfuckers really can't afford Coke. So then they cooked that shit up and broke it down and cracked, and that flooded our hoods with it. And it made it more, made it cheaper so motherfucking black motherfuckers could use it. Coke was a white man, a designer drug at first. Niggas wasn't using Coke like that. It like still that. is. Shit, yeah, Coke it still is. is. Coke, yeah. That was a Hollywood designer drug at first until they broke crack out. Yeah, all the celebrities. Shit, hey, 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 Mark, hey, Mark, you know me and you know motherfucking crack is a rich man's high. Now you know what's a fucking house cost, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, shit, man, nowadays too, right? <laughs> well, crack is a I rich man's I high. Know, I'm about, how much is crack going for out? Because I actually, I don't. How much is the ounce of crack going for nowadays? Man, an ounce of coke now in fucking San, in San Diego, my nigga, where it's supposed to be how cheap. Much? It's 1500 my nigga. God damn. So y'all pay... So if y'all getting it out there for fifteen, I, I can imagine that shit is at least double. Right. Out I got I got to charge you twenty five. Yeah, I, like, yeah, right. I found out. I was I was saying I was shot when Meek was rapping. Co- with, with, uh, what was that? Two thousand and twelve. Meek was like, "Where well, I'm from, them bricks going for forty eight k." I was shot when I heard forty eight k. That was eight. Hey, that was ridiculous, my nigga. Like, yeah, like forty a k, my nigga. Like I, I don't know. They. I, let me ask, what is, I, yeah, go ahead. Let me ask y'all this, right? Since we on the topic of coke and crack, so like, is that all that shit true? How you do it? Like, you know, the masterpiece song "Crack Like This." Is that really how it go? Yeah, it was <laughs> more to it than what C Murder said, but yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what you talking about? When C Murder broke down how to cook crack and you know how many grams, yeah, it, that, yeah. <laughs> it ain't yo, that yo, fucking yo, simple. Yo, Stuart, you want to know who took uh, it? You know how, how to cook crack? Honestly, uh, 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 the first lesson I learned. Really was in my in, in physical science, ninth grade, ninth grade. No, I'm dead ass. That's why I clip last. Clip, you know what I'm talking about, right? With the I know what you're talking about, man. I already yeah, know. Right. They don't tell you this is how you cook crack. 
they fucking break that shit down into physical science. You take a, a the, you take baking soda and then you add the water onto it. You take the alcohol burner, then you can fizzle this shit out and it go through the pole to come out on the other side of the pot. And then it, as the steam come out, that shit it hardens up. Then you it's can the hard, relit. Dude. Like, 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 how, like, I, I ain't, I'm kind of like, like, loosely explaining it, but basically, the physical elements of how you cook it, they teach you in ninth grade science. They just don't it's tell a, you. It's the same, it's the same process. It's the same process. Just, just, just with different ingredients, same just ingredients. Same different thing. ingredients, right. Just like, they taught us how to recook it. You heard a nigga be like, yo, I had to recook my crack. Like, mm-hmm. like, the nigga cooked the shit bad, they taught us how, once you turned it into the crack, you re, you add water to it, you can relight it with alcohol burner. You fizzle that shit out, and then you can separate the crack from the water, and you can get it back until it's basic form. I learned that shit in ninth grade. I didn't know it was cooking crack until the summer of ninth grade when my when my when my man told me. And I'm like, wait a minute, like, da, 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 da. like wait, I know how to do this shit already. We did this in science class. And I, I was like, oh shit, like when he actually started doing it, I'm like, oh fuck. But yeah, it's it's, it's not that similar to murder song, but it's. It's it's kind of it's not simple. It's a, it's a process, but pretty much. Yeah, he made it seem like it's like you just got nah, you know whip it, rick it to the to get well, to no, the. Well, no, I mean no. He, he had to put it in rap form. He he couldn't be no yeah. hour long verse. Come on now. But but uh, I, I know I learned the science class. I just didn't realize it until I actually learned. But they teach you in science class how to cook. But I, sh- I wish I would have paid attention to chemistry. <laughs> hey, hey Bart. Hey hey, hey Bart. Dude. Was niggas yeah. doing the water? Was niggas doing a water trick with weed in Philadelphia? What's the water trick? Nigga, uh, like you know, okay, pound's supposed to be four forty eight or whatever, right? Nigga uh-huh. put like four hundred grams in the bag and wet that shit or whatever, right? So, uh, so now I weigh more and shit like that or whatever, right? It's no, really no. only four. Yeah, it's really only four hundred grams of weed, but he didn't put some water on it, shit. So now it's heavier, and you buy the oh, pound, oh. but er- oh, but every so, 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 so you wait, hold on. you wrap the pound up and then you wet it. You wet the weed on the inside of the bag or whatever. So uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, so like, what, 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 do, do, do you what, wait, you don't actually wet the weed, you just wet it, you wrap it up. And no, they actually, no, I actually wet the fucking weed. I actually wet the weed and, and seal that shit up. Are you gonna, you gonna short me my fucking weed and you gonna destroy the weed by wet? And they short, short the fuck out of it, nigga, by like 50 grams, nigga. Nah, so then man, like, so, shit. hold on, so, so, so it'll weigh up, right? But once you take that shit home and the water get to evaporate and you losing weight every goddamn day. Losing weight. Oh right, right, right. But then the weed don't be do the. Oh no, nah, I ain't be horrible. Man. <laughs> we, 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 I ain't never heard of no shit like that. I ain't. Nah, hey, I ain't niggas never heard of no shit. Hey niggas was doing that shit. Hey niggas in Toledo was doing that shit, man. Like a motherfucker. I done got got like that. Nah, no. The only time. Motherfucker, hold on. Hey, hold on. I done got got like that. Motherfucker, sell me a pound. I let that shit sit for a few days because I see something weird about it. A week later, that shit like three hundred and twenty fucking grams. Like, come on, bro. Oh, I'd have been no, cause you and, and, and Philly, we we uh, well, let's see, we wasn't we wasn't a dangerous game in Philly. Like everybody in Philly started selling weed. Like, know what I mean? So, but most of the time, we we was like nearly uh more honorable. Like, know what I mean? Like, if you was dealing with the weed man and shit, you ain't really had nothing to worry about. Now the coke is when you got all the the, the, the scams coming in and shit. <laughs> with the, 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 <laughs> when you you buy a key, you the nigga the nigga give you twenty. So you buying a key, buying an ounce of uh, a key of raw, and the nigga give you fucking twenty six ounces of fucking straight flour or baking soda, like straight flour. Nigga, I, 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 nigga, I, I sold sheet rock before, my nigga. Hold on, Storm. You, you know the grimiest shit I seen? <laughs> hey, the grimiest shit I seen was hey, a nigga bought a nigga bought a key or whatever, right? Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And uh, it was it was actually some cocaine in there, right? Uh-huh. But in the middle of all the cocaine was a fucking book or whatever, right? <laughs> so it, it was like I don't know how much actual coke it was, but yeah, but the but it book was, it was a it, it was a book in the middle of it. Yeah, I I, yeah, I done seen a lot of I didn't heard or seen a lot of coke stories and coke scams. You know? That's why like I mean, a lot like, I done seen a motherfucker. I done uh, I didn't even see a motherfucking sell sell two. He sold two. <laughs> Nigga, I sold it like an ounce of sheet rock before. <laughs> like, <laughs> you get killed, nigga. You get killed. On... You can't have hey, so about it. Oh, you sell it to a dealer then, my nigga. You can't do that shit on your block when you're. Huh? Well, hey, you were selling to a dealer then if you did that shit, my nigga. I don't. Yeah, that wasn't no fee, my nigga. That wasn't no fee by no ounce, my nigga. 
Nah, the most I, nah, I remember. I remember when my little cousins first found out about you can sell dumb dumbs. Them niggas was out slinging ivory soap. Niggas, niggas, hey. ivory soap, dog. Nah. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny about you saying dummies and shit? If y'all remember uh, on, on that song Bone did with Biggie, right? Uh, the nigga Crazy Bone said the wildest shit, nigga. I, mean, I ain't gonna say it like he said it, but he I'm he basically you, said I'm selling it. No, he said I'm selling them. He said I'm selling them dummies, and I gotta buck them down. And if they come back talking about getting my money, like damn, nigga, you gonna sell him some some dummies and then shoot him when he <laughs> want his money back? Like, God damn, my nigga. You know already fucking robbed him, my nigga. You gonna shoot him when he want to shoot? <laughs> Yo, I saw an interview with Freeway Ricky Ross. They say. He said a nigga sold him seventy five thousand dollars worth of uh, <laughs> worth of uh, uh, um, uh, what's the uh, the tea sugar, the powdered sugar shit? Uh, oh, oh, confection sugar. Yeah, cake mix. Yeah, he cake sold him confection sugar. Yeah, see, I like LA is a different. I like them niggas good at it because that's what they that's all the fuck they do out in the West Coast is fucking do heists and jams and robberies and shit like you got. Ah, out LA, they they started that shit for real, for real, dog. I never bought no work out LA, dog. Like, I would, but I'm about to get it from a... No, I'm just saying, like he didn't check the shit before he like. Uh, he probably like, he it was probably it was probably some real dope on the top of the shit. Yeah, it's probably some real dope on the top. You don't know, like a lot of times when they sell you dump dumb, they don't, they put it, put they mix it up, they cut it down. You won't know until you cook the shit up, and then your feed's coming back like, yo, that shit fucking didn't taste like nothing. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, because if you don't use the coke, you don't use it, you don't know. But you always supposed to get a fiend to test it. But if they put coke on the top, and you top part is gonna be good, but you're not gonna know until you actually mix it up the bottom part, and then you are gonna have a batch full of fucking dead, you know, shit that it tastes like nothing. Like, know what I mean? At the bottom, you gonna know once you start cooking that shit up, and it's not gonna cook right. It ain't gonna smell right. It ain't gonna. It's not gonna. Uh, you gonna know when you cooking it up that it's something wrong. The problem is all for entertainment purposes. Please don't try this at home. My <laughs> 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 no, statue of right was 20 years yeah, ago. Mine, yeah, mine too. It went 20 yeah, years right? ago. But yeah, I feel you. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, you know, but yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, I just seen all type of fucking tricks. I just seen niggas sell fucking bread, toasted bread crumbs, all types of dumbass. <laughs> but it's, I don't get it because it's like. You gonna run into this motherfucker again? Don't think because a motherfucker smoke crack, he he won't he ain't, he ain't gonna fuck you up. Nah, the fiends will snitch on you, dog. Man, they have shoot you, beat your ass, all that shit. Fiend to give you a fiend give you a quick into the middle. Yo, that's bro. another thing. You just keep thinking these fiends just because they smoke crack, they don't want they won't fuck you up. Like exactly. I've seen I seen some do. shit. Nah, I've actually, I don't know. It's funny. I, I just yeah, I, I just seen a lot of throw. I actually I just seen because we done. With the war with now, that was some thorough, like old head that had me. I went to war with one back in the day. He's known shooter and shit. Even when we was going at it, he, he thought one of us robbed the bar he was fucking with. And we, we didn't rob the bar. One of my homies did it, but like he was mad because wasn't nobody telling him who did it. So he started. And a, a lot of them feel like even now, I see him now, I'm like, damn, he's strung the fuck out now. And I'm like, yo, this is the nigga that's actually going to go to war with us. We like, you lucky we cool now, you know what I mean? But like, a lot of them feel just because they feel, they don't be. They be like former, a lot of them niggas be like former guys. Like they see, I know a lot of niggas that was like thorough niggas just fiend out now, but they'll still lay you the fuck down though. But I ain't, I, I ain't, them things, they, just because they smoke crack don't mean they, they pussies, dog. Right, oh. that's what, at all. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, that's true. I don't see, I, I, I ain't never, I don't see a lot of fiends catch right. Shit, they, right. they not as dangerous as a motherfucking heroin addict. Them motherfuckers will kill the fuck uh, out of you. Yeah, I don't, heroin addicts, they really kill you. They can die. Out of, de out of desperation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember one time, it was a, a heroin fiend I ain't like it, and he dropped this pack. He dropped the stag. So, I I picked it up. Like, fuck it. Right. I ain't like him anyway. <laughs> that nigga came back into the lounge of that, like, 20 minutes later, like, looking for it, looking for it, because he knew he dropped it. So, he going crazy. He's like, yo, I just dropped it. <laughs> he, he, he talking to the lounge about, yo, check that money I gave you. Check the bag I gave you my clothes. It was a whole fucking drawing in there. Like, bitch, like, you got my shit. And I didn't want to say nothing. I had a pocket. But this nigga was going crazy. And I had it right here. What the fuck? This nigga was like, yo, I'm going to fucking kill somebody. I felt bad at that point. Because, because honestly, I see how he was stressing over this work that he literally would have went and robbed and 
Chopped and killed somebody, bro. I, Hell yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, he hey, said, immediately, like, hey, immediately after leaving the laundry, man, he was going right, to do that. So, I'm like, right, well, damn, I ain't going to give him his pack back. So I already got it. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my bad. I took your pack. But then, once I made the decision to keep it, I wasn't going to give it back neither. So I ain't like him any oh, fucking way. But, like, yeah, you're right. Them things, the hair, I don't play with hair on that. I would not mess with a hair addict always, though, because if them niggas, they would kill you because they don't want to get sick. Like, if you ever seen a nigga. <laughs> right. like, like they will literally kill you. Like, real seriously. Like, yeah, you know I'm crazy, can they? Them them niggas will walk up to you with a needle. Like, yo, I don't want to do this, but I need somebody to get some drugs. Give me twenty dollars for I poke you. Like, <laughs> like them niggas when when them niggas get sick, they'll do anything to keep from getting that sickness. Like my fucking gator on jungle fever, nigga. <laughs> like I hate to stop, yeah. I hate to be knocking folks over the head for their money, but I do it. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> nigga, hey, Danny. Man. I'm gonna end up killing somebody. I was like, oh Lord, what the fuck did I do? He gonna go home and stab somebody, rob somebody, but shit, even when you take a fucking pill, I don't really fuck with pills, but you ever take a perk? Anybody ever take a perk? And if you don't really take them Jones, you ever notice you be feeling sick or be like you don't feel right the next day? No, nah, I ain't never take a perk, bro. Uh, bro hold on, you, hold on, you said what now? You said what now? You ever take a perk? If you don't really I take took, perks, you ever... Yeah, I took really six take... billion perks, yeah, nigga. But you take them, though, right? Yeah, I'm a cancer patient, nigga. Well, I was, so yeah. yeah. Well, I was just saying, I was saying, well, see, it's different. You taking them, like, your body used to them. But, like, if a person not used to popping pills, like, if I take a perk, like, I feel, I go through withdrawal the next day. Like, my body, right, I right. like, yeah, I know, I know. like, like, that's what I'm saying, too. Like, just me, like, I don't take them. So, like, But I... that's tolerable, though. Hair withdrawal ain't tolerable, my nigga. Right, but ain't that shit the same? All oh, that shit is well, it's not. No, no that no, 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 no. Well, I don't let nobody take to me, because like I don't take perks. So to, to me, that shit not tolerable. So like, wherever that feeling is, like if I pop a thirty, like I'll be sick. But I don't even want to. I shouldn't even be popping the thirty. Cause, like I took one thing because like, all right, I can take a thirty. Like that ain't about nothing. Like no, nigga. Like I popped a thirty one time, or like over the course of a day. Like, I was sick all next day, like going through withdrawal. I don't know what the fuck that shit was, but if withdrawal for heroin is any like how my body feels. I I I I I understand how they. Well, whatever, what, well, what, whatever you went through, imagine times fifty for heroin. Fifty, right? That's what I'm saying, right? Because like that shit was like, oh my stuff. My, it was like my whole body was just shut down for the next day. Yo, and I ain't and even gonna a, hold you. It's been a while. Like it took me a while to realize that niggas really could die from withdrawal. Yeah, you die for that shit. That's why they will kill you because they are dying, nigga. That's, that's why they kill you. Yeah, they they yeah they kill you for that dude. Cause that's what um the nigga like, named uh, Sean Levert, that's what he died from withdrawals. That's why you can't quit heroin culture. They have to put you on methadone and suboxins and shit like that. You can't just stop doing that shit. It's not a like a weed is like mental. You know what I'm saying? You 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 don't need no goddamn weed. You just want the shit or whatever, right? With heroin, if you don't if you started doing it and you stop, you going you might fucking die, my nigga. It's a physical dependency. Yeah, that's like when you get locked up and shit, they ask you, when you get locked up and go to the county, they ask you if you're on drugs or if you're on heroin and shit. And motherfuckers be like, yeah, I'm on heroin. Yeah, yeah, like, damn, all you motherfuckers on heroin? At first, I ain't get it and shit, but then you realize, like, yeah, they, you got to be honest because you need your fucking suboxone or methadone you while you're in there. Yeah, yeah, or you would die. Like, you would What's die the most dangerous thing? drug y'all ever took? I'm drug free, bro. Drug free. Yeah, I'm here. just talking about on some experience shit. I ain't oh, I go. Uh, you don't have a drug to experience with, but weed. Nigga, anything else is fucking like unacceptable. No, I'm gonna tell. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna no, tell you my experience. Niggas experience with ecstasy all the time. What you mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't. I popped a million X pills. Exactly. My point. No, but uh, the, the the days the most dangerous shit I ever had was acid, and I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Like I didn't even really. Tell me, Clint. I'm about to do some shrooms this weekend, listen, so let me know. I, yeah, this shit was. Hey, listen. Oh, I, <laughs> hold on, wait. You still say that again, Sam? You gonna do what? Some trips? Shrooms, shrooms, mushrooms. I, I, hey, listen, Sam, Sam, Sam. Don't wait. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell my story after. Uh, home. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened, right? Got him right I now. Sell, I I used to sell. This nigga, wow. I used to sell acid, right? And, uh, oh, for real? You know, I, I, yeah, I wasn't ever going to take one, but I used to sell it. So I'm with this chick in my apartment and shit, and I'm asleep. And the bitch take one and put it on my tongue while I'm asleep or whatever, right? Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm-mm. And you know, she let it dissolve, and then you know, she, right? She let it dissolve, and then she woke me up laughing and that shit. That is not no shit to be waking up to. If you don't know, like, right. Right. she woke no, she woke me up as soon as she did it, like as soon as it dissolved, and she told me right. what she did, right? So I called one. You know, she laughs. Nigga, it's funny. I'm about to kill this bitch. So, right. you know, so I see, uh, she, she, she laugh. I call my boy, asking what's gonna happen or whatever, because I'm like panicking at this point. He like it's gonna take like 45 minutes for it to kick in. Just keep telling yourself. Just keep telling yourself this shit, this shit ain't real. This shit ain't real, right? Now this is now this is what me re- what made me realize how powerful the fucking human mind is, right? Mm. Because you can't tell yourself the shit ain't real. Like you can it's you real, can right? think, I, you know what, yeah, my, to my you is is yeah. real as fuck. Yeah, I, that's all I'm about to tell Sam too. The way we see the world ain't way the world the way the world is. You can't. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you finish. Uh, I know. Keep it up. Keep like, it up. I'm curious. What I was, yeah, what I was doing was, I was sitting there, and a little time go by, and I'm thinking the shit didn't work. I'm happy or whatever, right? Like, cool. Right. Next thing I know, you know, the girl sitting on the other couch. Next thing I know, the fucking door opened or whatever, right? And my mama walked in, right? And when she walked in, now, now, no, you ain't none of this shit really happening, right? But to me, it is, right? You know, my mom walk in, and I see, like, you know how, like, the Matrix, you, like, when he be dodging the bullets, you see trails of him and shit? And, you know, my mom walked in, and I just seen trails of her just walking, and she's walking, like, to the back room and shit. Like, I don't, you actually see the fucking door open, and you see the shadow that the person cast, all of that shit. Once you see all of that, you can't tell yourself that shit ain't real, even though it really ain't, though. It's like the hallucinations is so fucking strong. You can't be like, no, I'm just high. You, you, know, you said you got some, nigga. You said you got some, nigga. I don't, you sure, my nigga? That nigga just posted the picture. You don't see it? <laughs> no, because that was the first thing I seen. I didn't say that was it. Well, I, 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 did, I, I did mushrooms. You know, I don't really consider mushrooms a drug. I did acid, nigga. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, saying mushrooms ain't nothing to own. Um... Well, who you taking them with, Sam? Well, my friends told me I should just do it solo and just lock myself no, in. No, so no, no. First, you know, first, hell first, no. Of all, first of all, get rid of them friends. They ain't your friends. First of all, <laughs> your first trip, you're supposed to have a trip advisor, my nigga. You ain't supposed to be taking I'm telling you. That's not. Who gave them to you? They just told you, hey, take these on your own. They tripping, dog. Fuck no. Don't, and I don't even know you, but just ask somebody to know that know how powerful them Jones is. That's not something you need to take your first time by yourself. Actually, the nigga who gave them to you should have been like, no, nah, we're going to take them together. You need to sit and watch you. You ain't never taken them before? Nah, I never took them. Me and Victoria right, were supposed well, to do them. All right, one is going to be, uh, it's two things. It's going to be a life altering experience. The only thing I can kind of uh, explain it to you is like the Matrix. Like how when you be like, yo, you want to take the red pill or the green pill? But if you take this pill, remember, <laughs> actually, if you actually watch hey, hold the on, Matrix. Hey, Mark, hold on. Hey, Mark, hold on. Hey, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this shit fire, but go ahead though. Go ahead though, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You scared yeah, me, bro. Kinda, yeah, nah, I ain't trying to scare you though, but I was saying like it's kinda like the matrix. Like, remember how like they was like into the matrix where they go into the matrix and they walk around in the matrix. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You still substantially conscious like how Neil can hear her talk to her. That's yeah. how it is too on stream. Like how like how Clint was saying, like, the shit isn't real. You gotta keep telling yourself, like, you know what? I'm not seeing demons. Like, I'm not seeing the TV. And I see and it's also too because I took them the first four times. I took. Them. I was having good trips. Like, like I was watching like fucking Adam Sandler. Hey, and hey Bart, shit. I don't know if you know yeah. this, but like, so there's this movie like that's on Netflix, and it's called like it's like this acid like mushroom movie, and they say like there's all these like like famous celebrities, and they're all saying like if you've never done them, like you should really do them. Like it's life altering. It's really good right, though. No, like it is. It, it's it super is. like it changes your perspectives on things. Like it's at least for trying one. Fire, it's fire, like yeah, everybody's that's like too because. I really think, like, and that's why I don't really consider that shit as a drug, because ma- mushrooms are naturally grown. Them drones are naturally grown. You don't got to cook them up. You don't got to do nothing yeah. to them. They just come that way. And you just happen to eat them, and it just happen to make you see life differently. And yeah, honestly, everybody, like, like, all the, all the, like, select, like, it's, like, fame, like, super, super famous. Like, it's, like, politicians. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. And they I, even, I, like, I they're, shit, like, yo, like, like, you should try it. Like, it's gonna, like, you should, you should just try it. You have nothing to lose. What strain do like, you have? You. Because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I, and the dude who was giving them to my, 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 my folks, he was like, yo, you and your cousin ain't never have a bad trip yet? And I'm like, no, nah, don't be popping these shows like eating 20, 14 grams at a time. We love this shit. This shit is fun. Until like, until like a month ago, <laughs> it's the, the strongest strain is called Penile's Envy. Don't ask me why they call it Penile's Envy, but okay. I finally, 
Oh, don't, don't ask me that. But this goes back to like you know with the white people and the masons and the coaches. They eat them jaws too, but they know how to eat enough where they know how to, they don't abuse it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, the, and the two things with shrooms, you can't eat them every day. That's another good thing. Like you can't abuse them jaws. Like if you take a trip today, if you try to get high, take a trip tomorrow, it's not going to have that effect on you. You got to at least wait like two weeks or three weeks for your body tolerance to build up. So you can't even abuse them jaws. Like, like know what I mean? But when you take them jaws, like Clint was saying, like. You gotta keep telling like you ain't I, like honestly, I only had one bad trip. But even when I had the bad trip, it was good for me because it made me like I didn't think I was gonna be able to come back to the world, bro. And the only way I can explain it is like how Clint, Clint was saying, like you can keep telling yourself, yo, this is not real, but your brain, your process, you're not it, it's real. Like that's and yeah, real, that's like, what everybody was saying. Like they were saying like it's, real, like, it's, it's so good like the first yourself, few times. Like, like it's it's really bro. beneficial for you to like change your perspective on the world. But then right, like they're see, like if you, you have a bad trip, it also helps you too. Like it helps you like right, but more I like know yourself. Trip. Right. I needed the bad trip, bro. Cause now I'm telling you, I took penile's envy. I ate like 14, 21 grams. And penile's envy is just the, the dude who did like all the research or that's that they named it after him because this is like one of the strongest brands, but that shit had me like the matrix. And I wouldn't, I, I call, I'm talking to my cousin, and like, when I tell you, you see life in 3 HD, I can't really explain it. Like, the way we look at life now is not how the shit really looks, bro. It's kind of, I can't explain it. Like, you, you'll see when you take it. And then the thing is, like, when I took them, or like, when I took that, they had the bad trip, I, I told my cousin, like, yo, cuz, come down to the block. I'm like, all right. I go to look out the window, and it's like I was in a video game. Like, it looked like I could reach out and literally touch the moon. Like, the moon, like, you like, oh, the moon ain't that far. I can, I can literally touch that bitch. And then I went to go look at my car, and I, my car was moving. Like, you remember the Coolio? I don't know if you remember Coolio, but I, mean, I remember the fast, fast <laughs> yeah, voice. fantastic voice. My, nigga. <laughs> my car was, all, it was, like, plastic and moving, like how Coolio shit was moving. I'm talking to my cousin, like, yo, bro, I know this shit not real. I'm talking to my cousin, like, I'm, I'm conscious, though. I'm saying, I'm talking to my cousin's conscious. I'm like, yo, it's not safe out there, bro. And he's like, what you mean? I'm like... I ain't safe out there. I'm like, I ain't safe out there. I ain't going out in the world. Like, this shit is it too crazy. Then, mind you, there's the 4th of July going on. Shots is going on. And then, this is what I knew. I'm like, yo, I can't go out there. Because I remember this shit from the Matrix. I seen an old lady walking by. And one thing you realize when you want those shoes, and this is why I said you got to be with somebody, you realize you're a free man. You can do anything the fuck you want. Like, and when I say that, it means, uh, when I say that, it means, like, yo, if I, you realize, like, the way the society we live in, it's like we we live in like an artificial country, like we're talking about their rules and laws. But when you on them shoes, like now you feel like, you know what? If I want to go over here and rob this bank and get five stars, I can really do that shit if I wanted to. Like your mind and like it's just like. And then when I seen the lady walk by me, she was like in a wheelchair. I mean, she was like in a walker, and she was walking by going slow. Then when I tell you like the shit glitched on me, like remember the mission when that shit was like deja vu. Like, she kept glitching on me. And the whole time, I'm looking at this lady glitching down the street. And I'm like, wait the fuck? Is this bitch glitching? And then that's what I told my cousin. Like, yo, cuz, like, I'm seeing shit glitching. This shit don't even look right. I can't come out there like this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mind you, I'm high as a kite, but I still got enough sense not to go outside high, this high. Like, I'm not seeing shit right. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of just like, that's the first time I had a bad trip. Like, no, I got to stay in this room, sit here. Wait this shit out. Like, it's too dangerous out there. Like, and the bitch just started, like, it was crazy. Like, it was almost like I couldn't enjoy the high of the trip because I was too fucking high out of my mind. And it just was like, I was just wondering, like, yo, when is this shit, when the trip going to be over with? Like, am I going to go back to reality? Because, like, the way I was so high, bro, I didn't want that to be my reality for the rest of my life. Like, just on that nigga, trip. That shit, that's what, nigga, that shit, nigga, that shit lasts hours. Hours, nigga, that shit. Hours, right. It lasts, like, let me say, like, when I tell you that trip lasts 9, 10, 11 hours in, <laughs> You lose track of time. Yo, like, Bart, like, I got a question yeah. for you then. Do you know what micro dosing is then? Yeah. Or like you take like half of the dose or like half of the normal dose? Yeah. Yeah. Like a great, like, see, you see now that's what Hey, man, fuck, uh, fuck, fuck all that. Fuck all, fuck all that. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right, nigga. You take the whole shit. Nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, yeah, you not, that, that's when, hey, no, if you're going to take a trip, take the trip. No, you ain't don't no, call me when you micro dosing. This is in the pain of only. Yeah, yeah, don't. If you gonna, uh, no, Sam, if you gonna, like, I ain't trying to scare you, bro. No, take that. Like, you got some taking. Like, I ain't trying to scare you. I'm just saying, be careful. Uh, I'm just saying, like, don't, don't be. I'm just saying, respect them jaws because, like, I was eating. Hey, bar, like, hold on, bar, 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 bar. Hold on, let me ask you something, G. You, you, do you smoke weed, G? 
I'm used to. You used to, right? Were you yeah. were you still doing music while you were smoking weed? Yeah. Do you feel like you wrote better or did better while you was smoking? While you was high? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel most I don't know if you ever did anything else, but most most people, most artists, whether we talk about drawing on the canvas or most musicians, will tell you that their best work comes when they high off whatever the fuck they get high off of. Right, right, yeah. Right, away. You gotta understand, man, drugs, I, I don't know the science behind it. But you know, from no one from taking X pills and shit like that, drugs unlock certain parts of your brain that you just can't get to naturally. Like you just can't. Right, right. You know how they say you only use ten percent of your brain? That's actually true. Cause you know what I'm saying? Other shit will make you use more that's, use more percentage right. or different parts that you can't naturally that's what get the to. Shoes, that shoes open up your yeah. third eye. Like that like that's the only way I can explain it too. Like that shoes open up your third eye. You don't see you see shit differently when you're on that trip with them shoes. That shit do open up your third eye. Like that I can't explain it. Like but like if you if you take ecstasy for once, right? Let's say you want to talk to girls or whatever, but you the lamest, wackiest nigga in the fucking world. You ain't got no gang, you know nothing. Shout you take X pill, you gonna be the smoothest Stefan or Kale nigga in the fucking world. Like you ain't even know you could talk you, like you, that. You gonna be from from the fatty professor to buddy love. Listen. Right. You didn't even know yeah. you could be like that, but yeah. you really like that. That's how that's how I am when I'm drunk. Exactly. Well, I don't want to drink. I ain't never drunk, so I don't know. Yeah, when I'm drunk, it's like that. The bag just be coming to me. I'm more, I'm more sociable when I'm drunk. If I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm like of course. And I ain't drunk. Ew, like, why don't niggas like, you niggas are like, I, I could be a little bit more sociable when I'm drunk. Especially yeah, when I'm so drunk, it's easy. Around. The bags, like, they, do, they yeah. just come. Like, it's, it's no work. Like, it's just regular yeah. talk. Like, they, they just easy to talk to, but... I don't know, like, you're not scaring me, though, Bark. I'm just, like, all open for whatever y'all say. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, No, I'm not, no, like, Sam, I'm telling you. Sam, I'm telling you. No, like. Sam, 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 I'm telling you to do it, my nigga. <laughs> like, the shit fire. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, yeah. I, I've heard just good make, stuff. Hey, I mean, just, make, just make sure you're around some motherfuckers you trust. Yeah, or, 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 or just respect, just don't, like, respect them jewels. Like, you, you, you small dude, you understand. Do it at your like, own discretion. Yeah, take three grams, right? And then if you feel like, yo, these shows ain't do nothing, just just wait for it. Like, don't. Because like I'm telling you, my problem was I had to do them like four or five times, and I was just eating like five grams, ten grams, and I was getting high. And then the one time when I got a, a good strand, I am like, oh, I ate ten grams. Then I ate, oh, it's a little bit high. Then I ate like another ten. Like, I had an ounce. I ate like ten grams. The normal dose is only like two or three grams. So I was eating ten grams at one cent, which is like three trips worth. I then not killed like 14, 14 grams of that shit, and like no wonder I was fucking at a bad trip. I was like high for twelve hours, but no, that shit is definitely cool though. Just be reason, like I said, or your friends should really be around you if you ain't never taken before. Cause I don't. Do you smoke weed? Do you get high at all? Can't answer that. No, <laughs> fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I mean, like they they gave me the right dose. It's just more like I was gonna. How many grams? How, how, how much? They, how many grams they gave me? It's two grams. Sam, mm, take the two take grams. Sam, don't do it, Sam. No, 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 take the two grams. Don't, don't, you, don't, 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 you, you, I'm going to tell you, you take a half a gram ain't going to do nothing. You take the two grams, you'll be all right, you're a big boy. But how, I long, say, though, how long do you think it's going to last? You're going to be high for like eight hours. I'm telling you, you small as shit, too. And you don't, and yeah, you're going to be high as a kite. And you're going to enjoy it, though. Like, take it now and watch it, Adam Sam. Hey, watch Abby Gilmore. Pop the shrooms, wait like an hour. Wait like an hour and a half. I'm getting it tomorrow when I got like time to like recover. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's you. you wouldn't even I don't know how it's gonna be. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not gonna be able to go to sleep. Like, that's what I'm saying too. Like you take them Jones now, you're gonna be up for ten hours straight. You're not gonna. You can't go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not like you'd be up antsy walking around like a crackhead. You just, you just can't. You're not gonna be able to go to sleep. Nah. So I had. I had, like, my friends, they were taking it here the first time they had ever done it. And I was just watching them. So, you know, I was up just, you know, chilling up with them. Right. And they took it at probably, like, 8 p.m. And, like, you know, everything was cool. But I got tired around 1, and, like, they wouldn't even let me go to sleep. They didn't know, like, Sam, like, you have to stay up. We just can't sleep. And they're, like, they're watching, like, Rick and Morty and stuff. And they're just giggling at, like, nothing. Like, yeah. they just, but they having so much fun. And then, you know, when he finally <laughs> came down, I was. Like, if you, they probably, like, and they don't mind, they. You looking at this? This nigga's giggling at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was the only sober one there. Yeah. And then it's, it really like, like, like I said, the reason why I said watch Happy Gilmore is because, like, the characters when motherfuckers start shape shifting on you, like, it's just funny. Like, I can't explain it. Like, but.
But to them, they probably were seeing clowns, stars, all types of crazy, funny shit. And they just laughing at yeah, you, like I said, but yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to take it when you just buy yourself. But I ain't no, I mean, you can too. Like I said, it is supposed to be like a, a life altering experience, but. Nah, I mean, I'll just wait for Victoria, and it's no rush, but like, yeah, like, uh, I was yeah. just curious. You ain't got, long ain't got no guns or weapons around, like, you know what I mean? Nah, 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 like, me and Victoria are supposed you, to do it. Oh, right. shit, I, I, picked up the, I picked up the four pound by accident, trying to shoot her, but I don't know why I ain't, like. So, like, when my <laughs> friends, I did a date, like, they were like, yo, like, we don't want you to hold the court. What you say? So my friends, I did it, and they were like, yo, Sam, you just got to take our phones for the night. So I took their phones and stuff, because they were like, yo, they didn't want to, like, end up messaging somebody or seeing something they didn't want to see. So, yeah, so, they like, they were just like, all you got to do is control, like, the Netflix for us. Just whatever we say we want to watch, just, like, put it on. Don't don't debate about it. Just put it on. So I just put it on. You know, they was having, they, like, they had so much fun. They said, like, yo, it was great. Like, I'd do it again. Like, nobody said anything bad. They- yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. You just, like I said, just be careful. Don't take too much of them Jones, cause they 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 can be a little scary though. Like I said, like I, that bad trip was good for me, cause I tell you, like when I was stuck, you when the niggas say, yo, I just want to get back to the world. That's how I was. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, I gotta get back to the world. Like this shit cool enough, but this shit a little, this shit too much for me, dog. Like, hey Sam, yeah, hey Sam, you do that, you do that, you'll be ready for Molly in no time, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I ain't fucking with no Molly. <laughs> I ain't never had no Molly either, though, to be honest with you. Sam, Sam, go, 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 go Google Doc Ellis. Get off the podcast, too. Google what? Who? Doc Ellis. What are you about? You know, a baseball player that threw a, a no-hitter high off ass. <laughs> what? How the fuck did he know? What? Yeah, two cents. Probably was probably I was probably that motherfucker wasn't throwing that shit. I'm surprised he wasn't throwing it to second base, nigga, like. Yeah, but see, probably with him, he probably was taking it so much, it was probably part of his daily routine. Get up, pop an acid, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, that's probably why. If, if y'all probably like... His top was, <laughs> if y'all like documentaries, they got a documentary on it, you know, Ice Cube's son doing the movie about the dude, too. Why why, why wouldn't he keep doing that, then? I don't know. I don't know he did, no. I think they, I think they, um, they probably drug testing him and shit. You know what? A lot of NBA players and shit, you know, be high as fuck when they be human, like, uh... AI? For like, I fucking know. Like, uh, like J.R. Smith. Yeah, J.R. Smith always said he was. Who I used to get drunk? Hold on, hold on. Who, Ron Artest used to get drunk at halftime, my nigga. He used to get drunk and who? Oh, yeah, he said he'd take a fifth of Henny before and after the game. That <laughs> shit. Hey, Lynn Bias, nigga, he was on fucking Coke. Yeah, he was on Coke celebrating, yeah. This nigga celebrated doing coke and he died of an overdose. Like, yeah, what overdose, kind of man. shit is this? Like, that was your celebration to die, my nigga? You was that happy? Uh, my fault. I don't mean to speak on the dead, but nigga. He overdid it. He was happy he got drafted. He got drafted high, too. So he just, you know, he got high as fucking. It was over. Uh, well, pick, first pick. Yeah, they, like, they, they, hey, hey, hold on. Hey, Danny, Danny, this is what I don't get. How the hell did Boston even have such a high draft pick? Trading. Oh my god. Niggas already had three of the fifty greatest players and had the first hey, <laughs> fucking second bro. pick in the draft, yep. nigga. Hey, oh, for who? Lakers did the same thing though. Because remember Lakers took Magic number one. They ain't never been stepped on cool. He said he has some people. <laughs> no, but what I'm yeah. saying is hey, 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 daddy, even with Reggie Lewis, you know, he was a high they got the high draft picks while having Mikhail Paris and Bird twice, but nigga. Like I don't get how that happened. Red was a fool yeah. as a GM. I guess they true. I guess they had trades and shit. But you, you got to realize. Jordan had to wait like. Hey, that remind yeah. me of uh, Pistons. That, that remind me of Pistons when they was already a fucking finals team and had the second pick and fucked it up on Darko, nigga. Yeah, well, I remember that. Larry, that was Larry Brown, dumbass, because he ain't want another. <laughs> he ain't want to get caught. He was going to be another. Yo, AI. that's what I was saying. Like, um, Larry Brown that's what I was. That. That's what though. I was saying. Like, Melo could have had like four rings by now if. They would've, Man, they, they could have got Melo, D Wade, Chris Bosch. They could have come on, bro. They picked Darko. No, hey, hey only reason we on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check this out. But check this out. Only reason we don't be roasting the old them Pistons for picking him is because they won a title that same fucking year. That's the only reason okay. we don't be talking shit about that. Basically, so it's kind of like that. Well, well let, let hold on, hold on. Let, let me keep it real. They didn't win the couple, the title, the title 
Kobe shot the Lakers out of the title. No, I Kobe ain't Kobe was gonna gunning like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna do no, that. Kobe was putting them 90 shots a game. That was the first year they ain't have Shaq, right? No, they had it. No, they had They had him, Malone, hey, Malone and Peyton oh, was wait, there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Damn, that's when they had that dream team. You right. Yeah, well, Malone and yeah. Peyton. Yeah, and Malone. I mean, they were old as fuck, but still. Them niggas were wash. Yeah, they was old. Like, Malone <laughs> missed half the season to injury. He had only missed four total games. <laughs> that's right when they started beefing, I meant. That's right when they started beefing, when Kobe yeah. was good in that season. And, and they started t- talking about trading Shaq and... All that other shit. Yeah, I remember. That's when that shit started. Yeah, Kobe said Malone tried to get at his wife and shit. Um, Malone a pedophile, too. And he a deadbeat dad, nigga. Yeah, I seen that shit with, with his little uh, little young girl. I don't yeah, he know how he, he, he got He got a son. He found out who actually was his son and still never fuck with him. Hey, that nigga got a 13-year-old <laughs> pregnant his senior year of college. He on some battle truth yeah, shit, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. He was on some... uh. So, uh, young, young shit. Yeah, Hold on, that's who, that's who, that, oh, but that's what he had the, the, the somebody that he don't claim, though, right? Right, right. Oh, right, right, right. right. He, well, he, he claim him now, I think. Yeah, he claim him now. Man, come on, bro. You should, you fucking, you know when it, when, it, when he was born, he was yours. I got a ter- paternity test. He don't mess with Cheryl Ford either. He didn't start messing with her until she got another. No, he was fucking with, he was, he was, he was, he was fucking with Cheryl Ford for a minute. He was fucking with who? His daughter. His, his daughter that went to the WM. His daughter went to the WNBA. She got yeah, so he just on some deadbeat shit, period. 